they're back. Based out TV. What's up, Stu Crew? They're back. It's award season again, right? Midnight, huh? And last time, when I first got started on the award shows, we were doing the AMAs, and I also did the MTV VMAs. So this is my first time ever getting a chance to look at the Golden Globe Awards. Okay, first up we got, uh, oh, Madonna. Uh, she's shrouded in silver. Um, she always brings it. And I love that British accent that she got growing up in Michigan. Reese Witherspoon in a Zach Posen dress. Yeah, that's a lovely milk. Piper Parabo. Ooh, she's like Snow White. Look at that dress. Plus you can smuggle a few of the dwarfs under that thing. Bonus, Diana Agron. She's a pretty lady. Looks like an uh, ancient Chinese secret there of a dress. It was sort of headed in the right direction, but then veered off into crazy town. That's all kinds of special. Next is Rooney Mara. That's a Nina Ricci dress. I didn't know that I had to read that. Um, and she looks pretty good without all that metal hanging out of her face. Oh, that's a hot mess. Then we have Mila Kunis. You know, on the E! show, she looked like she could kick the crap out of Ryan Seacrest. She's a formidable lady. Sofia Vergara, that's hot. She's got a, what's that, a fishtail dress? Um, Vera Wang, Harry Winston Jules. I read that, I didn't know that off the top of my head. Um, she also said that she did two-a-days in the gym to get ready for that. It worked, winning. Emma Stone, oh, I like Emma Stone. She could wear a hefty bag and I like her. Next is Charlize Theron. Yeah, if that dress was any more low cut, we'd know if she was a natural blonde. God bless. Leah Michelle. Now there's a look. I'm gonna smile on your face and spit on your grave. Claire Danes, great dress, very classy. And Sarah Michelle Geller. There's a situation. Mary J. Blige. Yeah, that looks like it could cause irritation. Meryl Streep, winner, best actress. Bless her heart. Ooh, David Bowie looks great. Sticking with the men, we have Johnny Depp. Ooh, looks like he had something cooking with that outfit, but sort of left the house before it was done. He's another one, you know, that has one of those accents that's from No Land on the Globe. It's sort of like Madonna's British accent with a little bit of Narnia thrown in. Next up, we've got Brad Pitt, and he's got a cane. It's hard out there for a pimp. And Angelina Jolie. She sort of looks like I feel after a photo shoot. Hungry. Well, that's it for the uh, Golden Globes, Stu Crew, and spoiler alert, Uggy the dog from The Artist, he stole the show. For your comment question, let's play FTW and WTF. That's for the win, and what the uh. uh and you tell me, out of the outfits you saw in this show, what outfits were for the win, and what outfits made you go WTF? And guys, make sure to go common crazy, because you know I love it. And like, favorite, and share this video with everyone you know. Until next time, much love and respect. Much love and respect. It's time for the Shorty Awards Shorty Shoutouts. Very quickly, we got three of them for today, as I promised. Uh, as you guys know, I am up for a Shorty Award. Midnight Watch Out, I gotta do special effect. Shortyawards.com slash John Basedow, that's where you can vote. And please cast your ballot there because I am in second place as of the filming of this video, but we'll see how that goes. With your help, we're gonna move on up like the Jeffersons. First one is Call Me The Josh. He says, I nominate John Basedow for a Shorty Award in social fitness because of his dedication to helping others be awesome. Thank you, Josh. Next one, Catherine Hickland. John Basedow nominated for a Shorty Award in celebrity because he is not only generous, but hilarious and inspiring. Only with you, Catherine. Only with you. Uh, next one, we got Joe Simonera. Uh, I nominate John Basedow for a Shorty Award in social fitness because he helps children fight obesity all over. Joe Simonera, as you may know, is the celebrity chef in a lot of the posters that you see in the malls nationwide. 
and we are doing a campaign for fighting childhood obesity with the Take Control Fitness Package, so you can check that out also. Uh, but thank you, Joe. And finally, oh, I said three, but there's actually four. Jeanette Barber. I nominate John Baystaff for a Shorty Award in Social Fitness because he's amazingly motivating and handsome. I love you. Midnight loves you. Keep voting, guys. Please bring your friends to vote, too. Um, the Shorty Awards run through February, uh, and then there's going to be a big award ceremony and everything, and if I bring home the award, it's shared between you and I. Love you for it. Hey, I'm Jessica Lee, and you're watching New Media Stew with John Baystaff. Get chunked! Hey guys, Daily Grace here telling you to subscribe to John Baystaff's channel. Did you do it yet? Did you do it?